Well, here they are, the speed bag and the universal. Two innovative products that will increase speed, strength, and stamina in as little as 20 minutes a day. I'm gonna be demonstrating to you many proven muscle building exercises that will increase your performance and longevity beyond your expectations. The signature feature on all of the burn machine's equipment is the advanced rotating 360 degree grips, which sets it apart from any other equipment on the market. The Universal features an asymmetrical counterweight, which slides from one side to the other, allowing you to train asymmetrically without the hassle of physically placing different weights at each end of the bar. The rotating handles provide seamless transition between your exercises, which will also save you a lot of time during the workout routine. The Speed Bag and the Universal, two very different pieces of equipment, but when used together, they can maximize the results for your fitness goals. The Speed Bag is a favorite of many athletes from many disciplines and training levels around the world. Its users include boxers, mixed martial artists, and even golfers. It provides a heart-pumping aerobic workout that burns calories, promotes strength, and increases endurance. This convenient, handheld free weight unit fires up your metabolism to help you melt off pounds, revealing a lean, muscular shape. The Universal is used more for strength training and features the asymmetrical sliding counterweight, allowing both balanced and imbalanced distribution of weight during workouts. Having more weight on one side of the barbell will force core muscles to engage in order to compensate for the imbalance. The Universal's 360 degree rotating grips allow you to transition from a standard grip to an easy curl, hammer, and reverse grip with everything in between. This saves you time while allowing you to do innovative supersetting routines, something that no other barbell can provide without the need to switch bars. If you want to take your workout to the max, remember the Universal holds up to 200 pounds. All you have to do is put the Olympic weight adapters on either end and then slap the Olympic plates on. But we're going to show a lot of moves with both the Universal and the Speed Bag, so be creative with it. Don't feel limited. For example, if you had weight plates on the Universal, you could take it to the floor, do a push-up, come up for a deadlift, go behind the head for a tricep extension, down into a squat, and then back to the floor for another push-up. Remember, be creative so you can maximize your workout routine. A lot of bodybuilders might tell you they prefer the Universal over the Speed Bag, while a lot of lean performance-based athletes will tell you they prefer the Speed Bag. You can bench hundreds of reps a day, but that's not going to give you the endurance you need if you're an athlete trying to improve stamina and speed, which is why we talked to professional mixed martial artist, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, to discuss the benefits of the speed bag. First of all, not everyone has a speed bag, and not everyone has a wall they can hang a speed bag. I mean, who lives in an apartment that you can't just beat a speed bag to death with a neighbor? You know, this you could just pick up, middle of the room, laying in bed. I imagine you could do it pretty much anywhere you want and pick it up and, and, and do it, let alone no one can hit a speed bag. I mean, have you tried? I mean, it's it's one handed. Oh man, you know. So it's this both hands switch back the other direction. I mean, just the versatility of, of, of the burn machine far exceeds that of a speed bag. So I mean, anyone can use it from a little kid to 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 a, I guess an elderly person. The fatigue you get in in minutes is better than any workout that I've done. You know, you you have to be in the gym. For, you know, I'd have to say a good 20 to 30 minutes working just those strategic areas to get the same burn that I got in 30 seconds, you know what I mean? So, you see all the infomercials that are like six minutes a day, it'll save you, you know, 30 seconds a day, you know what I mean? So that's, to me, the time that it saved that I could bust out five minutes on the burn machine and get the same workout I do an hour in the gym, save me time and, and get a more intense extreme workout, I'm in. I have terrible pain in my elbows, you know, just tendonitis from just years of punching and pulling and dragging and so lifting at the gym, you know, where the butt, any any movements were curling and, you know, 
it's limited for me and, and, and using the burn machine I don't I don't have to use those those motion you know spinning it, it's not as hard on my joints as, as power lifting heavy weight you know and I can get the same I can still the same burn as I can in, in minutes as I can at hours in the gym so I think just the wear and tear on your body is gonna be you know a lot less on your abs to your, your you know your biceps your triceps to everything I, I felt today like God you know and, and here I am now sitting still you know feeling my muscles pumped up you know and, and, and that's incredible definitely will continue using because just the fact of the longevity of the fatigue in my muscles, you know, in the later rounds and sparring, even even fighting, carrying your gloves and keeping your hands up is is a huge problem. You know, you, you gotta you gotta have the, the longevity in, in your muscles and using that machine is gonna keep my hands up, you know, I'll be able to just burn them out and get get my muscle memory to that point that I can I can keep them up. You give it a shot, 10 seconds in, 20 seconds in, you're you're burning and you can't even hold, you might even you wanted to, can you keep your arms up? I mean, like I said, when me and Leonard were battling each other, I legitimately was gonna beat him no matter what, but I was at the point like, come on, just drop it, please, because the burn is there. I mean, so the name definitely fits. The speed bag works wonders for endurance and speed, but when you combine it with the strength building and muscle defining universal, that's when you'll maximize your results and take your body to the limits. Bodybuilder and fitness model, Nick Soto, uses the Universal to perfect his biceps, triceps, chest, and prepare for competitions. What's up everybody? The Universal, the Universal Barbell um, Burn Machine is a great tool to have during your workouts because not only is it safe, time efficient, um, looks cool, but it's sturdy, it's not going to fall apart on you, and you can pretty much use in any kind of barbell exercise that you have coming up in your workout regimen. So the Burn Machine Universal can minimize all the different barbells and stuff that you have to go look for in the gym and, and try to find in the gym because sometimes the gym gets crowded so you know you want your own equipment so you don't miss any part of your workout that you want to do and you can literally you know at least substitute good four to seven exercises you know just from the Burn Machine barbell. The differences between a regular conventional barbell and then the universal burn machine is the hand grips. A normal uh, standard Olympian barbell, you know, it's straight. Your wrists are fixed and they can't, they can't move. Your wrists are locked. So many people complain to me that their wrists hurt, which is true because my wrists hurt when I use a straight barbell. Um, it gives you pains in your joints and it's not a comfortable feeling. But the uh, burn machine allows your wrist to be free, just like a dumbbell movement. So the burn machine is great because the hand grips allow you to go into a bicep curl, you know, into a shoulder press, and then change all different kinds of exercises without really having to sit down your bar, pick up a new bar, or find a dumbbell, or change the weight. Um, you can keep the weight all the same and do a nice total body workout, basically not having to put down the bar at all. And then you can continue going and working out like that, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you get a whole totally body workout, you burn enough calories, you've broken down all the muscles you're trying to break down. Since the grips are rotating, when I do a curl, it allows me to put all my concentration, you know, in the curl. So I'm flushing as much blood as I can into my bicep and immediately I feel the pump. And that's so effective because um, the pump sometimes is hard to get, especially in places like your back. Or your chest but with the burn machine you know using using the grips and able to flex and squeeze and flush the right blood into the muscles exactly where you're trying to uh, flush the blood into then um, it's easy to get a quick pump and it's really effective and then also with it having the both dumbbell and barbell movements the best of both worlds um, it, it's added so much into my workouts that you know it, it's fun and then it's you know it's pretty creative to come up with different stuff I use it with my personal um, training clients and then they love it so I always keep it as a good staple in my workout routine. Um, I take it to the gym with me every day, even when I do legs. So the burn machine has really become an important part in my workout routine and you can always find it in my gym bag. All it takes is a commitment to the equipment and just 20 minutes a day. The burn machine also provides several other tools if you're looking to intensify your workout. If you're looking for a longer, more intense cardiovascular workout to uncover shoulder, arm, back, and core muscle definition while increasing aerobic and muscular endurance, the four pound speed bag is ideal for advanced athletic training and even injury rehabilitation. The eight pound speed bag is perfect for women, teens, baby boomers, or anyone starting out in upper body regimen. The ease of use and minimal risk of injury with such a lightweight machine that's versatile enough for use by the whole family. It works great when incorporated in a step aerobics or martial arts class that needs the resistance of a lightweight performance tool. The 12 pound speed bag offers more challenging weight resistance. This model is designed for experienced lifters, high performance athletes, 
or for those desiring an advanced level of upper body endurance. The Eunice mechanics call on all aspects of core strength, agility, and aerobic muscle engagement, as well as a keen sense of coordination and endurance. This machine is for those who are serious about getting to the next level, no matter their current level of fitness. The Burn Machine carries several DVDs featuring the speed bag focusing on endurance and stamina, which you can find at theburnmachine.com under DVDs. If you prefer to use Olympic plates in your routine, the Burn Machine offers an Olympic plate adapter for the Universal to help personalize your workout. This fully chrome set comes with two collars and two spring clips. The Speed Bag and Universal each have backpacks and display stands that you can get through the website, allowing you to protect your unit and personal belongings from any damage. And just remember guys, you only need about 20 minutes a day and you can incorporate the Speed Bag and the Universal into any of your current workout routines. We only showed a few techniques on the DVD, so remember there are dozens more exercises. You can be innovative with it. But most importantly, remember to have fun and always train like a boss. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Watson and we're here at the Hit Squad training facility. I'm gonna take you through the speed bag routine. First, I wanna introduce you to my lovely assistants. We got Rob, Ronnie, and Jason. Now guys, this routine's only four minutes long, but trust me, you will feel it. But let's go ahead and get in, right into it, into the classic speed bag. So we're gonna start off going 15 seconds high, straight forward. Now we're gonna go low. 15 seconds, guys. You'll start to feel it in your shoulders. Now we're gonna go back up and we're gonna reverse the direction. Keep it up high, guys. The higher you go, the more you'll feel it. Keep your elbows in, keep it up above your head. Already feeling it. Now, same direction, going backwards but low. All right guys, remember, just be creative with this. Use your imagination. You can mix it up a lot. You can go backward for 30 seconds, forward for 30 seconds, and go backward 15, forward 15. Do whatever you want, but remember, it's only about two minutes long. Just keep the weight up for two minutes. Trust me, you're gonna feel it. All right, now let's get right back into our, our workout. Let's work on the next move. It's called crossover. So you're gonna hold the grips straight out in front. You're gonna cross the weight over for 15 seconds. I'm gonna let my guys do it. I'm gonna turn around, make sure they're doing it right. Nice, guys. Like that? Very good, very good. Keep it up, keep it going. Lots of reps, guys, lots of reps. Try to make it burn. Now you're gonna go up overhead, guys, up overhead. Very nice, guys. It's gonna be hitting your shoulders. Also, you're gonna feel your forearms, feeling your traps. Definitely. Keep the arms up Definitely high. Shoulders are heavy. All right, guys, now we're gonna hit over rolls. Straight out in front. Good. You guys should feel this in not only the forearms, you'll feel a little bit in the biceps as well. Don't be cheating me over there, Rob. Let's we'll see some repetition. All right, guys, under rolls, under rolls, back the other way. Nice, nice and smooth. Keep it nice and smooth. Bring it all the way out. Try to get your arms extended out in front of you. You'll feel the burn more. Good, lots of revolutions, guys. All right, guys, very nice, very nice. Now remember, these are just a few of the exercises that can be done with this machine. We also have a few other options. You can go back for tricep extensions behind the head. You can also go straight out for punch outs. Or if you're feeling really feisty, you can do the windmill. Go ahead and demonstrate, Ronnie. Nice. 
This one's very difficult. I wouldn't recommend it when you're just starting out, but that's something to build up to. So let's get right into the next technique, okay? This one's called the gunslinger. Have the unit uh, just about 90 degrees with your elbow and start to get some rotation. You want to really build up some momentum here and start swinging backwards. All right, and then left you go. Now remember, if you have trouble doing this one, you know, we have different size weights. We have the 12 pounder, we have the eight pounder, which is why Ronnie can, can do it a little bit faster, a little bit steadier. If it's too hard for you guys, remember, you can always go back to the regular speed bag. That's no problem. All right, guys, now I want you to switch hands. Go the other way, other hand. Very nice. Like I said, if you have trouble, just go right back to the regular speed bag. All right, guys, now the Kali. Up above, start turning back and forth. Good. You really want to incorporate and engage your core here, guys. The more you rotate, really get it up above you. Nice. And down low, down low. Same thing, same thing. You really want to focus on engaging that core. That's the great thing about this movement is not only using your arms, but it really works your abdominals as well. All right, and time, guys. Great. Now, the great thing about this is, guys, you can you can be innovative and creative. You can do all nice. kinds of technique. Nice, Ronnie. You're going to work out even with the eight pound weight. <laughs> nice work. Uh, but the great thing is, guys, you can be really innovative with this, and you can, you can use this machine for a lot of different things. You can even incorporate your leg by doing some of these movements and also doing the lunges. You can also take them to the floor, which is what we're about to do right now. All right, guys, sit up. I want you to bring your feet off of the floor, okay? Kind of center in the middle. And I'm gonna start doing bicycles as I turn the weight forward, just like we did before. So push the legs forward, doing bicycles, kicking the leg. It isn't a race, guys. You don't have to go for speed. You really wanna use your abdominal muscles here and your legs and your arms. This is almost a full body workout. Nice, even pace to keep your balance. All right, guys, now start going backwards. Reverse the motion of your legs. Reverse the motion with the unit. Should be very challenging at this point. All right, guys, now we're gonna switch to the Mason twist, okay? Keep your legs centered. I'm gonna touch the weight, rotate, touch the other side. Back and forth. Guys, really try to get some rotation. Each time, making sure that the unit touches the floor. You should really be feeling it at this point. Ryan's probably glad he got his shirt off for this one. I'm not, no doubt about it. Very challenging, guys. Keep it up. Try to think about keeping those abs tight the whole time. Keep the feet off the floor. And nice, good job, guys. Great routine. Guys, make sure too, when you do this workout, you're gonna need some water, so make sure you take some time to get some. Wipe the sweat. That worked pretty hard. Man, I felt that not just, my, 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 yeah. not just my abs yeah. and my shoulders, I felt it in my hip flexors, my legs too. But it, guys, you can see this is a very tough workout. But you know, challenge yourself. You can use it in, in a variety of ways. There's still new moves being developed all the time. Be creative with it. You can add it to almost any routine and uh, you know, create your own moves, make it a tough workout. And I know it's hard. That was only about four minutes right there, guys. But if you stick with it and, and stay committed to the routine, you'll be glad that you did. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Watson and we're back here at the Hit Squad training facility. I'm gonna take you through a workout with the Universal today and here to help me, we have Zeph all the way from Holland, Ronnie's back with us today, and we have Darius. So we're gonna pick up the Universal guys. Now remember, each time we do an exercise, we're going to do eight reps, four to the left and then four more to the right each time moving that asymmetrical weight in the middle. So the first set we're gonna go with, guys, is the standard. So we're gonna start off with our palms facing the ceiling. Everybody start off with the weight to the left. You're gonna do four there, then switch it, and then do four to the right. All right, guys, let's get started. One, two, three, four. Nice, guys, now switch. One, two, 
two, three, four. Nice, guys. Now I want you guys to switch the grip so that your thumbs are facing the ceiling. We're gonna go with some hammer curls. Everybody put your weight to the left. We're gonna start off with four. Make sure your thumbs are up and go. One, two, three, four. Switch. Remember, guys, keep going. Go. One. This works the outside head of the bicep with the thumbs facing up. Nice. All right, guys. Now start off with your grip, your palms facing down, and you're gonna rotate all the way up, guys. We're gonna go for a full rotation. So you start down, everybody have your weights to the left. You're gonna start with your palms down, rotate all the way up, and you remember, four each side. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Nice, switch. One, two, Feel it in your bicep, guys. Three, four. Nice, guys. And remember, you can superset these exercises. With the rotating handles on the universal, you can transition seamlessly from exercise to exercise for optimal results. Speaking of supersetting, we're gonna go ahead and do that now with our next routine. Okay, guys, we're gonna do four exercises. And remember, it's still, we're gonna do eight sets, four to the left, four to the right. Okay, we're gonna start off, guys, with the shrug. Okay, we're gonna do one shrug, rotating the shoulders backwards. Our second exercise is a straight arm raise. Bring it back down. Now we're gonna do an upright row, and then we're going to do a lunge with a curl. All right, guys, I'm gonna set mine down so I can coach you through this. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with that shrug. Ready, go. Raise it out, nice. Good, upright row. And then the lunge with the curl. Very good, guys. All right, second set, go. Down into the lunge, curling, good. Remember, guys, each time you're working the muscle groups, the different muscle groups, think about the muscle you're working with each exercise. Very good. Last one on the left side. This is the last one on the left side. Lunge. Good, everybody up. Now switch sides with the weight, guys. Move that asymmetrical weight. You're gonna start with your next set. Ready, go. Nice. And lunge, curl, get it back up. Only three more guys, come on, work through this. I'm gonna have to. Lower this weight a little bit. A little bit too much for me. No problem. This workout's pretty tough. But guys, if the weight is too much, remember you can always take a little bit of weight off, switch it up, go with a lighter one. Come on, Ronnie, you got big muscles. I thought you could do that. I was thinking so too until I met this thing. Nice work, guys. Last one. Very nice. Some of you might be wondering what the asymmetrical counterweight is for on the universal. Well, as the weight shifts to the opposite side, the muscles on the opposing side of your body will naturally compensate. And what this does is it'll better engage your core for optimal results. Now guys, we're gonna start right into the next thing. Okay, we're gonna go from a military press, tricep extension, Bring it back in front, go right down into a squat, okay? So make sure everyone's weight is on the left-hand side. We're gonna, again, do eight repetitions, four left, four right, okay? Ooh. Start off with the military press. All right, let's go, guys. Ready, go. Right into the tricep extension. Back up, bring it in front, now go down. Excellent, guys, that's one. Do it again. Nice. On the tricep extension, guys, try to bring your elbows in close to your body. Bring your elbows in close to your head, I mean. Three, excellent. Elbows in, makes it hard on that tricep, good. Four, switch the weights after this one. Very nice. 
to make sure on those squats, guys, get parallel to the floor. You want your thighs parallel to the floor. This is our third rep. Excellent, very good. Now remember what I said, the universal, you can be very innovative with it, create different things, work different muscle groups. Okay, for example, you know, we were just hitting the legs there with lunges. You can even do push-ups with the universal. Ronnie, go ahead and demonstrate. Very nice. Remember, have fun with this, you know, create different exercises, maximize your results by hitting all the different muscle groups, okay? Now, we're gonna do some super setting right now, and this one's gonna be tough, so if you need a break, go ahead and do it now. All right, remember guys, we're still hitting eight reps. We're gonna go four to the left, and then four more to the right, so everybody shift your weights. We're gonna go ahead and start off with a shrug. Now we're gonna go with the row. Now the lunge with the rotating curl. Stay in the lunge, military press. Tricep extension, stand up out of the lunge. Very nice, go back down. Shrug, row, lunge with the rotating curl. Military press, tricep extension, stand up out of the lunge. That's two. You guys keep going on your own, right into rep three. Good. Excellent, stand back up. That was three, good guys. Fourth rep, last one on this side, and then you're gonna have to shift the weight. Excellent, tricep extension, stand up out of the lunge. Everyone shift the weight over. Nice, now hit it again. Shrug, good, upright row, nice. Go down into your lunge and curl, military. Tricep, stand up out of the lunge, good. Remember guys, think about each muscle as you're working it. Military, triceps, stand up out of the lunge, nice. Three, last one guys. Excellent form. Now remember, this is a very hard routine, so if at any point you feel like you need a drink of water, go ahead and stop and get it. And if you need to lower the weight, if it's a little too heavy, we don't want you to get injured, so make sure you use an appropriate weight for, for the workout, okay? Now guys, with the versatility of the universal, you can incorporate it into any of your weight routines. And the greatest thing is you don't have to switch to another bar. You can pretty much do everything with this same one. Just remember, have fun, be innovative, most importantly, challenge yourself and your body will thank you.